The properties panel is where you'll find controls and options for whichever layer type is selected or active in the layers panel. Now there's a lot of different layer types. I'm just going to name them off real quick. I'm not going to go over every single one, but you'll get the idea once I go through some of them. One, there's pixel raster layers. Then we got smart objects, and there's actually two different kinds of smart objects. You got embedded and linked. Then you can have adjustment layers, and each different adjustment has its different options in the properties window. Then there's video layers, shape layers, type or text layers, you can call them. Um, generative layers, which is new with the Photoshop generative fill. And then last, there's 3D layers. There's also artboards and groups, but those don't actually have any settings or options you can change on them. But technically, they're a layer. And then we also have uh, the properties for the masks, which it can be layer masks, vector masks. So let's just go ahead and show you. Right here, I have the properties panel open, and then the layers panel is open right here. If I click on a layer, let's click on this type layer, you can see the properties panel, this changed to saying type layer. Then it has all types of options you can change having to do with text, right? If I were to click down on a shape layer, you can see we got shape layer. You can click on mask or the actual shape itself. You got some other settings. You can change the density, the feather. It's also got some refine options, select the mask, color range, invert. You can come down here and load the selection. It turns the path itself into an active selection. Uh, next, here's an embedded smart object, right? We got some transform options. You can edit the contents, convert it to a linked smart object. You can convert a smart object into layers. Then we got a pixel layer. You got transform, align and distribute options. You can remove the background, select subject. If we click view more, it opens up the discover dialog box. And it's got all types of quick actions it shows you about. Now if you have an adjustment layer, I have three of them here. Gradient map, levels and curves. You can also click right here and add another one. Let's just go for uh, hue saturation, right? Then when I click on each one, you can see it changes. Now all these options, they're the same as the adjustment dialog boxes, right? It's got the same thing. So if I were to select this layer here, right? Go to image, adjustments, and go to hue saturation. You can see all these options here. Be looking out for my other videos that are going to go over and explain about all the different adjustment layers and the controls. Um, this video is not for that. It's just to show you what the properties panel is. I'll probably leave a link in the description if I have that video recorded before I put this one out. Otherwise, you can look on the channel and the playlist. I'm going to have them all organized pretty good, so it's pretty easy to find what you need. If you got any questions or comments, make sure to put them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.